back to my channel. It's your girl Tiana here. It's finally fall, my favorite time of the year. So as you can tell, everything is pumpkin. So I went to Trader Joe's and I picked up some things, um, some seasonal items that they had. So I wanted to try them here with you guys to let you guys know if it's worth it or not. And then I also wanted to show you guys one of my favorite fall drinks. It's the pumpkin spice margarita and it is so good i'm so excited to show you guys so i'm gonna first start off with the margarita okay so i don't have a shaker so a little life hack just in case you don't have a shaker you can use a travel cup and it works perfectly fine so we're gonna take one ounce of our vodka and put it into our shaker and make sure that you also have ice in here so we can keep it nice and cool then we're going to take one ounce of our pumpkin spice liqueur and this is so good this is like one of my favorite things because it kind of tastes like baileys but it's pumpkin spice and then we're going to take our coffee liqueur and we're going to also do one ounce of that And then we're gonna take um, our white chocolate liqueur and we're gonna take two ounces of that. I'm telling you guys, this is gonna be your new fall drink. It's so yummy. Okay, then my favorite thing, we're gonna shake it up. Make sure you shake it up really good. Okay, and then we're going to coat our glass. So we're gonna just take caramel and cinnamon sugar and just rim our glass. And this is honestly my favorite part because it makes it, it just makes it look so cute and so festive. And then I kind of like to just like pat the sugar on because then it won't drip. The caramel won't drip. Okay. So then it should look like this when you're done. We're just gonna open the travel cup. We're just gonna pour it in there. And it's perfect because it blocks the ice from coming inside. So then as a garnish, I like to put a cinnamon stick. It's super cute and it just makes it just that more festive. And then enjoy guys. It is so good. So now to start for the Trader Joe's seasonal items. First, we're gonna start off with the pumpkin empanadas. And I think that these are gonna be interesting because um, I've never seen pumpkin empanadas and empanadas are like my favorite things. So it says to preheat the oven to 350 and then um, wait for 15 to 20 minutes. So let's go do that. It's finally done. All right, you guys can like see how it looks like inside. All right, so it looks like, like it's almost like sweet potato kind of like texture. Okay, so I'm gonna try it. Okay, so, so I'm not gonna knock it, but if you like, sweet potato and you like that like consistency but pumpkin then you'll like this for me the texture inside just tastes a little bit weird for me so i'm gonna have to give it a one i'm i'm gonna <laughs> i don't like it so i'm not gonna try the next one because i've already tried it and it is one of my favorite um this butternut squash mac and cheese and this is one of my favorite like top down 10 out of 10 you need to try it so the next thing that I'm gonna try is the pumpkin spice pretzel slims. And I was actually excited to get these because I love pretzels. So when I saw them, I was like, let's see if they're good. So it says that it's with um, crushed pumpkin uh, spice pumpkin seeds. So let's try them. These are actually quite good. 
I can definitely see myself getting these as a snack on to go. Um, these are actually really good. It has like a nice drizzle of caramel. And these are really good. I'll give these a 9 out of 10. For sure. You should probably go try these. So the next one I'm going to try, I'm really excited about because I'm more of an apple person. I love apple pies, apple desserts. So the next one that I'm going to try is the rustic apple tart. And it says to cook for like 25 to 30 minutes. So we did that. And let's try. This apple pie is so good. It reminds me of when my mom makes apple pies. It's so delicious. It has these apples that are like thinly sliced in here. And it's so good. It's like topped with almonds and like sugar. It's honestly so good. I definitely recommend it. Take a little break from eating a little bit and then show you some non-food items. And this one is the vanilla pumpkin um, candle that they came out for the seasonal. This one is one of my favorites. Like I am more, when it comes to candles, I'm more of like a rosy, as you can see from my last video that I did um, about the diptyque candles. I was more like about rosy, like the rosy scents, um, the more... Uh, fruity kind of scents this scent is literally it just screams fall it has like a like almost like a vanilla rustic kind of smell and then a hint of pumpkin it smells so good i'm definitely going to be lighting this up and then they also had the honey crisp apple which i was ex i didn't smell these inside the store because i had my mask on so i just wanted to get them just to see because can't go wrong with candles for see for fall so this one is way more fruity and like i mentioned like i like those kinds but this one's a little bit too harsh for me it has like notes of like honey and like so it just smells so strong that i honestly love the vanilla over the honey crisp one but I just feel like when you light it, it's going to be really strong. And I like this one because it's more of a lighter smell. But out of both of them, I do like the vanilla um, pumpkin more than the honey crisp apple. So I would give this one a 9 out of 10. And then also I would give this one probably a 6 out of 10 just because it's a little bit too strong for me. So it's not fall without a cinnamon broom. These smell so good. These are my favorite. I always need to get them every fall because it just gets you in the fall spirit so with these it works best when you have a smaller area so if you have a bigger area i would suggest having one of these brooms in every room because it only really um covers a small area um but nonetheless this is a 10 out of 10 this is amazing you need to have this in order to complete your fall decor so next we have the pumpkin um pancake and waffle mix I'm not going to try this now because I wanted to try it in the morning, um, but this um, video will come out in two days. So by that time, I will have already tried this with the Vermont um, maple syrup and the cinnamon bun spread that they said goes good together. Um, so I'll let you guys know, but I mean, pancakes are always good and waffles, so I'm pretty sure it'll be good. Um, so the last thing I picked up is the maple and sea salt kettle corn and i am obsessed with kettle corn every time that i go to fairs i always have to get kettle corn it is one of my favorites so let's try this mm, okay so you don't really taste the maple until like after after the fact after you've already chewed it um but i love kettle corn and it tastes you can taste the kettle corn and the sea salt so that's amazing you can't really taste the maple um but honestly i i love kettle corn so this is pretty good um so since you can't really taste the maple and it has maple in the name i'm gonna give it like like a seven because it doesn't have it you can't really t taste the maple but it's pretty good okay guys so i hope you guys like my video of everything pumpkin and if you guys want to see more videos like this make sure to hit that thumbs up if you haven't already make sure to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you're notified whenever i post i'm gonna go enjoy my drink and enjoy the nice weather outside bye guys
Don't straight up. Okay, go. Did you just say go? Mm-hmm. Bit. I didn't. I. <coughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> you just 